It's a real pleasure to have Robert Schuler with us. A lot of you know him, in fact, most of you know him from uh, years of exposure on uh, the Crystal Cathedral program with his, uh, with his father. He's uh, a man who has had a significant impact in America and Canada and, and the world for many years and uh, recently has uh, launched out in a whole new direction. He's come by the studio today to talk about all of that and I'm looking forward to spending this time with you, Robert. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. So nice to have you here in it's person. A it's a pleasure to be here. I wasn't planning on this, you know. Well, I know. It's just a sort of surprise, and things just, happen that way. And yeah, I'm just trying to get used God, to you without... That's the way God is. Yeah, I'm trying to get used to you without your robes. You, you know, you, <laughs> Robe? Well, how about a coat and tie, man? Look, <laughs> hey, can I borrow your coat and tie? Then no, I'll well, feel a little better. No, no, you know? no, no. You look very contemporary. Robert, um, we, we got a lot to talk about. But I think we should start from uh, the point of interest that most people, I'd, I would think... Uh, would share, and that is, why are you no longer uh, the senior pastor of the Crystal Cathedral? Why are you no longer on the program? Um, because I'm not on there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> you know, why? There's an evasive answer. No, seriously, what, what, what happened? Oh, that was a couple of years ago yeah. already now. Yeah. And um, basically in July of 08, um, uh, the board, with my father's direction, decided to make my uh, brother-in-law as my, my boss. And uh, August, we, August, everyone kind of takes off. There's not a whole lot going on. Start up again in September, and I started preaching in September. And, um, and my, my, my bosses decided that my sermons weren't good enough for the hour of power. And by October, they said they, went, they had to have other preachers in the pulpit on Sunday morning, so I was allowed to preach any time other than Sunday morning. And so with that, I resigned. End of story. By, by what criteria did they determine your sermons weren't good enough? <laughs> you know, it's, you'll have to ask them that. I, uh, that's beyond my, my knowledge. I don't know. I thought they were good sermons. They never told you? The, 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 I mean, they didn't critique. They just said, "Okay, Robert, now if you, here, here's where the you're... word." I, the word I had was, "They weren't anointed." <laughs> they weren't anointed. Really? <laughs> That's what I was told. What can I say? Because it's interesting. But that... you know, everything happens for a reason. Yeah. So we could sit there and hash all of that, or we can come to the conclusion that for some reason God didn't want me there anymore. Yeah. And I think that's the conclusion you have to come with. Because for some reason, God had a different, different plan for my life. And there's, you know, I, I can't second guess the hand of no, God. You no, can't either. No. I, I, I know sometimes you think you can. Yeah. I know sometimes I think I can. I think uh, sometimes I think the people who are watching on the program think they can too. Yeah. But the fact is, no one can. If somebody no. tells you, hey, in fact, I hate it when people come to me and says, you know, God wants you to do this. I hate that. Yeah. I feel like that. That spiritual abuse is like. I agree. You, you don't know what God wants. I, I don't know what God wants. Nobody does. I remember. Really, I remember this cute. Unless it's scriptural. I remember this cute girl that uh, I, uh, she was a pastor's daughter that I was a friend with, and yeah. this, this guy came along one time and said, "The Lord has told me that you and I should go together." And she says, "Well, come back exactly. when he talks to me about it." <laughs> you know, you, you don't you don't allow people to abuse you that way. Yeah. Now, did this impact your relationship with your father? Yeah, it did. Sure. Um, we, did, we didn't talk for a long time. Um, how is it going now? Very well, actually. Yeah. yeah. You've, you've resolved things. Mm -hmm. We have. Actually, it was um, the day before Father's Day. Really? Yeah. You want to talk about that? Um, my son kind of made, made a meeting happen. And uh, we sat in his living room, and, and there was some repentance and... And, and repentance is a, is a good thing. Yeah. Your son was a mediator. Yes. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? It was really cool. He's got his grandpa yeah. and his father. Yeah. And he says, I want you guys to, get, to make peace. Yeah. That's very mature of him. He's a very mature young man. I hear he's quite he, the preacher, huh? Yeah, he graduated from Fuller Seminary a couple years ago. And uh, he started a church. He's my pastor. Really? So I go, to, I go to church and I listen to my son preach. And he's a great preacher. Yeah. Uh, you can, uh, if you Google, if you Google his name, you'll find his website there, and you can listen to him. What's his name? His, sermons. his name's Robert Schuler. Robert Schuler. Yeah. Who How knew? about that? <laughs> Robert Schuler the third. It's one of those things where I have my ID to somebody, and they say, "Oh, are you related?" And I go, 
oh, that is my ID. Yeah, I am related. They said, no, 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 are you the son of? And I go, actually, I'm the father of. The father of and the and, son of. And, and, and uh, the son the father, the son, and I'm he. Oh, there you go. So. Um, your wife, how did she handle uh -huh. this transition? It's sometimes harder on, on the wife than on the man himself. Uh, did she cope with this fairly well or not? Yeah, you know, I, I really can't answer for her. I can tell you. What my, did you observe? Per, yeah, there you go. Yeah. I can tell you my, my observations. Uh, it's been, it was very difficult for both of us. Um, uh, was it more difficult on her than it was on me? It's, I, I I think it's taken her longer because, because as God would have it, I, 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 I found something else to do very quickly. Mm. Um, because, well, it's, it, it's a long story, but, but, uh, but it didn't involve her, which was very unusual because we were, we were teammates, we were partners. Mm. And we would drive into work together, and we would attend meetings together, we would travel together, we would go and meet with all of the all of the the investors in the hour of power together and and it was a it was a team it was we were a team together mm. she would she would read scriptures on the hour of power yeah. for me yeah. and and the like and so now all of a sudden I'm in this business venture and there's really not a it's not a team anymore mm. and uh, cuz I'm I'm going to go and take care of my family you know so so uh so that's what I've done and and so it's taken her a while to really find a niche where yeah. she's feeling comfortable. I'm sure. Which brings me to what is it that you're up to now? I mean, you, you, you have launched in a very uh, visionary, aggressive new direction. Uh, we'll be hearing a lot more of you in the future. Uh, tell us about it. What's going on? Well, I don't know how much you'll hear about me, but... Uh, well, we'll be hearing about, about your work. Let's about, put it that about way. About the work, yeah. yeah. Well, you, know, you know, like I said, God, God has a way of, of using using everything in our, in our in our lives for our good. Mm. And I believe that you know one of my one of my statements is it's all good. Yeah. You know, yeah. if something happens is really bad I go hey, it's all good, you know, mm. and that comes right right from Romans 8:28. All mm. things work together mm. for good. Mm. So it's all good, mm. you know, cuz I love God. Mm. I'm called according to his purpose and therefore it's all good. Mm. And it's hard to that's a it's a Great line to go with throughout mm. the day. It's, yeah, all it's all good. You know, you you stub your toe. You go, Tell me, but you, it's all good. It's all good. Yes, it's all good. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you know, <laughs> you know, but it's all good. Yeah. yeah, and there's purpose and and a reason for everything, and it's hard for us to understand a lot of it. But um, uh, and so when I left the Christmas Cathedral, I left basically October, November. Um, and but by September, I, I kind of knew the handwriting was on the wall where this was going. It was just a matter of time, and you had to kind of let the thing play out. And the funny thing is that um, my son-in-law, uh, and you know, there's that's a I could go on talking about the miracles involved with that, but my but my son-in-law, who was the founder of GodTube, which was the fastest-growing website on planet Earth mm. in 07, uh, was going through a problem with his company and was planning on leaving and that wasn't a, a, a happy parting mm. so um, within three months um, uh, both of us who were ingrained into into our roles he is the the chairman uh, I'm sorry the CEO of of uh, of, of, of God tube and, and I was the CEO of the Christ Cathedral Ministries. We were 100% committed to what we were doing, and we had no intention of, of making any changes f for the foreseeable future. Hmm. And um, all of a sudden, that, and three months later, we're both on an airplane to China on a missions trip, scratching our head, going, "What's going on? I, you know, I'm getting, I, I'm, leave, I'm going to be leaving the cathedral. You're going to be leaving God Tube." And it's not under pretty picture. And what in the world is going on? And we said, well, what could, maybe we can do something together. And maybe we can, maybe we can have an impact on on Christian media and change the way Christian media has historically been done. Mm -hmm. And um, so, <clears throat> if we said, well, if we're going to do that, um, I, I think we'll need a television network. And so our first goal was to buy a television network with the idea of having traditionally sponsored um, 
television programs, but with a with a Christian or or a or a Christian uh, values based mm -hmm. programming. Mm -hmm. So you don't have so the way that changes the face of Christian media is you don't have telethons mm -hmm. saying, "Hey, you got to support our Christian media." You have regularly regular commercials yeah. like people are used to. Yeah. And you, and so this is a, a completely new direction that we've that we've gone.